SpaceX prepares to launch its Starship rocket. We're going to go now to a live look at the launch pad this morning. Then we're going to go straight to our CBS 4's Adam Gradona, who's on the ground right there, who's got one of the closest views of Starship this morning. Adam, how's it looking out there? And I know the excitement is building up in just a few moments. Hey, Marco, it's looking good. The crowds are out here all set up and waiting to see this rocket launch. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about Starbase here. Now, development and manufacturing of Starship takes place right here at Starbase, which you can see is just a few miles away from us. Now, it's one of the world's first commercial spaceports designed for orbital missions, and Starbase is one of four active launch sites in the U.S. operated by SpaceX. Now, it's the first site optimized for Starship, which can transport satellites, payloads, crew, and cargo to outer space. Now, Brownsville Mayor Trey Mendez tells us that the Valley has really benefited from having SpaceX right here in the Valley. SpaceX has been uh, almost a billion dollars worth of development in our community, which is great. We know that they're employing uh, 1,700 people, sometimes more. Uh, that's been great. They pay well. It's something that's given us a lot of attention. They're going to continue to grow. Now we're just a few minutes away from that launch, so I'm going to send it on over back to you, Marco, as we prepare to watch this thing take off. Marco? The crowds out there, very exciting moments right now, a couple of minutes out. But like we said, history about to be made. Very exciting for our community. I yep. remember 10 years ago being a Valley native when SpaceX announced they would be coming down here to the Valley and that eventually that they'll be having launches. And here we are, the days come, part two. <laughs> and fingers crossed that we get to see it today. Yep. But you know, a lot of excitement. So a lot of people are, are wondering when the launch happens. So Starship will circle most of the Earth before re-entering the atmosphere and then splashing down off the coast of Hawaii. And the Super Heavy Booster is expected to detach from the rocket about three minutes uh, after takeoff and land in the Gulf, and that's what we're expected to see there. Um, but, you know, Jessica, I know we were kind of concerned about the weather this morning. The fog had, yep. it was a pretty bad this morning, but it's cleared up. We see the view over there right now, taking another live look, seeing little Looks silhouettes of Starship, but wonderful. nonetheless, perfect view out there of Starship. Yep, and we are very, very close to the launch window, only about 30 seconds away. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to see liftoff here. Uh, visibility is still reduced, yeah. but it's looking great for the time being. It looks like spectators are at least going to have a view of the rocket launch here in just a moment. And you know, props to all the people who came out early overnight actually to, to wait to see the, a chance to see this happen. I know they did it on Monday and they stayed below and came back today and we're just under a minute away to this historic launch at Boca Chica at the Starbase in Brownsville. But uh, 30 seconds of being told in my ear and we're just going to watch and see uh, this this go here. Um, but lots of excitement. Jessica, yes. I'm from Florida and I know they do a lot of these things yep. out there. So have you seen this one in person before? I have not seen a star. Sh I have not seen a star base or a SpaceX li launch anything, but I have seen one from Cape Canaveral, which okay. uh, SpaceX has launched some from there yeah. before. So and the exciting thing is here. This is the first launch here at Boca yep. Chica and this will definitely open the doorway for future launches 100%. in the future as long as SpaceX is down here. But very exciting moments. We're counting down to kind of the final seconds. Uh, do we have an updated countdown? Um, okay. So I think that we're recycling right now, but uh, just we're on standby here uh, again at any moment. So once we get the final countdown, we will let you know when, when that happens. But thankfully, again, we got a little silhouette there of Starship. I know, uh, I know. And, I, was, and, I was concerned about the visibility yeah. about uh, 30 minutes ago even. We were kind of having a little bit of difficulty seeing that from our Beach Park camera. Yeah. But now, from this view, now I know Adam is a little bit closer. But yeah, it's, and this is another type of great. history. This is obviously local history for us here in the Valley, but also history in space exploration in general because this is the most uh, powerful rocket of its kind yeah. that's being lifted off here uh, this morning. SpaceX's goal is that eventually it wants to carry people and cargo through the same uh, uh, Starship rocket to the moon and ultimately to Mars. So so uh, right now we're getting the queue to hold for final launch. So here we go. Uh, we're standing by here. Very exciting moments. I'm feeling like a little kid right now. I know. This is, yeah, I know. This is very, very exciting. Uh, Jessica and I are very excited oh. to see this here. And we're kind of it's uh, like a New Year's countdown. And we have some colleagues out there too. Mm -hmm. Adam, of course, but some of our other colleagues who had the day off of yeah. work to watch this in person live. Uh, envy them a little bit. But you know, know, this is such a good view as well. And for those of you watching it from home, uh, we want to bring you this live coverage as it's happening as we speak. And I know a lot of planning, a lot of preparation went into this. Um, just last Friday, as you were aware, that the FAA finally gave SpaceX approval for today's launch. 
uh, in the form of the licenses. And that was a lengthy process considering that the agency wanted to look at the environmental impacts. And right. uh, the yeah. FAA said that they are following the environmental impacts and they are clear to do these types of launches. So this license that they just got last Friday is valid for the next five years, so as we're saying. So we can yep. expect some more launches here at Boca Chica uh, moving forward uh, for several uh, years to come. And then, of course, they attempted on Monday. Yeah, attempted on Monday. And it got Monday. canceled, what, five minutes before uh, Less than the that. I was window? here with uh, Jim on Monday, and we were we were getting ready, and right before it, all systems were going, and then it was like, oh, they're scrapping it because yep. it was a, a mechanical issue. It was a valve issue, according to CEO Elon Musk, uh, who had tweeted that out. Um, but, yeah, we're looking at the live feed of their Twitter right now, uh, and, yeah, they're, they're just getting ready on standby for that. Uh, yep. Just four minutes ago, SpaceX has tweeted that propellant loading complete. Starship is fully loaded with more than 4,500 metric tons, which is wow. about 10 <laughs> million pounds of propellant. Oh. Uh, that was a tweet from them just f uh, four, that was about four minutes ago. But uh, Well, we just entered the launch window at 8.28 yeah. a.m. And the launch window lasts until 9.30 a.m. Yes. So hopefully things all right, kick off sooner rather than later. We just got T-minus 40 seconds uh, all right, from all right. my producer. So. So Counting it looks like we're going to have launch around 8.32. 8.32-ish, yep. yeah, which is right when, I guess, the the, uh, the window opened. Because the window was about, what, an hour? 8.28 to 9.30. Yep, yep. so um, we're very close. The window just opened a couple of minutes ago, and we're, we're preparing. Again, standing by here to see uh, what's about to happen. Great view there as well. Yeah. I mean, we are right there. And I, I, I'm glad, I think the, the, the fog cleared out. I know, <laughs> it's a lot better. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of us were worried. I was like, oh, I hope mm -hmm. we get to see it. Uh, but, yeah, looking, looking good there. Yep. But uh, very exciting moment here. And we're going to wait and see and see what's happening here. Kind of waiting in anxious silence here. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard any updates yet. Yes. Should be going off pretty soon, though. All right, so oh. let's go back over yeah. to Adam, who's out on the ground right now. Adam, I know we're standing by for this launch. How is the atmosphere looking out there? I know folks are really excited. Tell us what you see. What are you hearing? Yeah, Marco, we're out here. I'm at one of the highest decks here at the Raptor Roost, which is just 3.7 miles away from the SpaceX Starship launch site. Now, there's several photographers set up here. There's a lot of spectators that are out here just joined together as a one big community of space enthusiasts. Now, let me tell you, last night, there was quite the buzz around the campsite here. Now, this property is owned by Keith Reynolds, and he's made sure to make sure that everybody that's out here is having a good time. In, uh, right now through SpaceX, uh, they're saying that they'll know shortly um, that they said there's a holdup of up to 15 minutes before liftoff. And then once they get the all clear, they're going to start at T minus 40 seconds, which could be any moment now. So uh, we're just standing by here to see uh, um, uh, what's going to be going on here. Um, apparently, uh, there's some issue that's going on. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we, go. we got launching. We got launching here. And it is liftoff. Oh, 30 seconds to lift off? Yep. Oh. And we are seeing it here as you're looking at the live picture wow. into the sky. Wow. And disappearing. We got into the clouds. That's what, that's what we're, we're wondering about the clouds. Wow. There it goes. That is a really incredible sight to see. Lots of smoke. Oh, can you hear it? I can hear it. Yeah. You can hear the you hear the crowds right now cheering uh, right now. The birds. I can see some birds in the uh, yeah, beach park. We're also park looking camera. at a uh, live weather camera that's looking at the star base right now as well. We're seeing uh, that's a good the shot movement as well. happening yep. there. Yep. Oh, there we go. Now there you can see the smoke on camera there. But yeah, a little foggy towards a little cloudy rather. Uh, hey, we got to see liftoff. We got though. to see liftoff. But an incredible Birds sight to see yeah, there, awesome. uh, and I'm glad that this happened. Uh, this is a really historical moment here for mm -hmm. Boca Chica, for SpaceX, for space, space exploration. And like we mentioned, I mean, this is pretty much the closest you can get. Yeah, is as close this as we right can get. And where Adam is minutes. right now, where yeah. he is, is one of the closest spots uh, we were able to get to this. Uh, thing. There, so it so is, there, there it is. There it is. There we go, going up there uh, to Lab Pondre. Uh, they were providing us great uh, co uh, video uh, awesome. coverage of this too. But wow, <laughs> look at that. That's a, quite a sight to see. Oh, I'm so glad that we can see it. I was definitely a little bit concerned about the fog and the cloud cover, but look at that right there. That's Starship. 
Yeah. Kind of no words here. And just how, to watch how, it go into there. Yeah. And how long did you say before the three minutes? Yeah. After so, liftoff? Yeah. So it will detach. Uh, they will detach. I think around three minutes. I believe. Okay. Uh, uh, to the super heavy um, and the Starship, they're two separate uh, uh, systems right. that are there. Um, but wow, I just plan, I, and I don't know if we'll be able to see the separation right. yeah. uh, of that. Uh, just keep an eye out uh, for that. Yeah, we'll see how long we can keep an eye on this thing. Yeah, so it got about. Can still so about three minutes after takeoff, the the, uh, the it will separate and land in the Gulf. That is um, super heavy and Starship detaching. Um, so now it seems to be making a turn at that maybe a detachment we may be seeing there. I'm not sure. Oh, looks like we lost. A I think bit. we lost uh, the the view there. But nonetheless, the the, the, sky. the yeah. uh, really great view for the people there. I'm hearing the cheers still right now. Yep. I don't know if y'all could hear that at home, but uh, really uh, spectacular sight to see. Might have lost it in the clouds. Maybe. Yeah, might have lost it in the yep. clouds there. But there you have it, folks. Uh, really, really great uh, launch that just happened right before our eyes live right here and uh you know it has been a long time coming i know we were hoping for a monday launch and we were kind of concerned that it uh, might be another scrub mission yep. but uh you know it looks you know great that, it, that they did that today uh and we didn't want to we didn't want any more delays we everyone was waiting <laughs> everyone was waiting to, to, to see this this launch uh happen yep. here that's what we were waiting for see if spacex yeah. has said anything yet we're looking we're up looking so, so starship so spacex just uh, tweeted this out right now starship has cleared the pad and beach vehicle is on a nominal flight path. Uh, that was just a few moments ago. Spy, uh, SpaceX just tweeted that piece of information out. Um, so there we go. And it is made takeoff there is cleared. Um, I don't think I think it's uh, left our uh, point of view uh, <laughs> that we could see there. And there is again once again the launch pad at Starbase now empty as uh, Starbase and Super Heavy have now lift yep. off. Uh, there, but it's exciting, really exciting to see you there. I know we were kind of got lost in the countdown, but no, like, <laughs> no, we, we a little, little bit of miscommunication. First, uh, it's so uh, hard to know. Yeah, because I mean, they, they had said <gasps> they had stopped the countdown, then they restarted it, and then, yeah, so then when they restarted it, I guess uh, hey, that's we, when they we, started lifting we off. We got so. it nonetheless. That's, they, all, they that's wanted, all that matters. They just to wanted me. to get off the ground as soon as possible, as, yep. as everyone wanted to see. But uh, another really thing here is just really great for for the Boca Chica area, for the Brownsville area, and South Padre Island. So many people from around the valley and around the country uh, came down here to the valley to see this take place. And they were talking to people from all over the place. I know we did a couple of stories leading up to this. People from Wisconsin, from Ohio, from Australia came all the way uh, down yeah. here to see this uh, take place. And it's a really great moment of history to see that right there. I believe we're looking still at our uh, at the, um, the the launch site there. But let's go back out over to Adam, who's on the ground, who just witnessed this happen. Adam, tell me what you're feeling, what everyone else is feeling out there. Much who had been an incredible sight to witness that. Marco, Jessica, of course, incredible, incredible sight. You can see oh happiness God. out here, celebrations. Yeah. There was loud cheers. Now I'm joined by Carlos Nunez, also known as hashtag Starbase Surfer. He's been following this SpaceX activity since the first pile of dirt. Pretty Tell much. me how you feel right now. I know there's a lot of emotions happening. I ex here. exhilarated uh, with the emotion that my heart's beating. It, it, the, uh, the, the Raptors really put on a show more than we anticipated. I think everybody uh, was uh, anxious to get this off the ground, and uh, we've just witnessed history, and we're, I'm just excited to be a part of it, to be honest with now, you. Now, you are a Brownsville or Valley native yourself. Okay. Tell Correct. me how it feels being a native and being able to document all of this up until this very historic moment. Amazing. Uh, it really has been a, a, a journey all the way along. Uh, just uh, uh, been coming out here to Boca since the year, pretty much early 80s, and uh, just enjoyed the beach, the surfing and the fishing and whatnot. And uh, it, it changed a few years back, and all of a sudden, look at what we got. We've got history in the making. We've got starships going to potential moon and Mars and orbiting uh, here backyard so it's pretty exciting to see not only that but uh, certainly all the e economic uh, influence that it has on, on the valley and certainly I've seen a, a big growth and a big enthusiasm for not only SpaceX but but what we just witnessed. Awesome. All right. So now it is a monumental moment. Now some people may have not made it out here. They may have watched it on Lab Padre on other didn't make it out here, but for next potential launches, what advice do you have for them? Oh my gosh, uh, get here early <laughs> and uh, uh, be ready to, uh, to camp out and just uh, enjoy the fellowship with other enthusiasts uh, who are just as excited as you are. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. 
and uh, we, we saw that on Monday, uh, but it, uh, you know, I'm glad to, to finally get it over with so uh, <laughs> we can get back to work. All right, Carlos, thank you so much. I'll let you continue celebrating. All right, guys, it was an amazing moment to witness. Wow. History made right here in our backyard. I'll send it back to you all in the studio. Lots of excitement there, Adam. Thanks so much. You could just see the, 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 the excitement and joy in everybody's faces That's to awesome. see that moment. Yeah. And, you know, seeing so much there, Adam, I mean, you're a native of Brownsville there. I mean, how did it feel uh, seeing that, witnessing that with your own eyes? They just get the flight from the nation system. Let me tell you, my heart was beating. I could I feel bet. everything shaking, the roaring. I am just stoked to have seen it, to witness it right here in my hometown. That's yeah. a great. I know you've been, uh, I feel like space, uh, Adam's kind of been a SpaceX uh, reporter. He was always following yes, this stuff around. Yes, he's always there. Uh, I know. He even went on Monday. That's right. On your day off, right, I know. Adam? On your day off, you were on Monday <laughs> when they were supposed to do it, but unfortunately got scrubbed. But now, you know, second time's a charm. You got to see it. Yep. Yeah, super excited. I'm so glad I was able to be part of it through our station. But yeah, I was out here Monday on my own trying to witness history. But yeah, I got yeah. to do it today, so I'm really happy that we got to do this and share this with all our viewers. Yeah, so I know. it's a great moment for everyone. Great moment for everyone. I'm still hearing those cheers on the outside there. But Adam Corona live on the ground for us witnessing <laughs> history there over at Boca Chica. Thanks so much. And, you know, it was really, really great to see everything happen here out, out here. And um, so now we're just going to be, you know, now this part is done. So now the, 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 the point is next is seeing other future projects for yep. SpaceX. We're going to be standing by to see, you know, in the future uh, how that's going to happen there. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, but, you know, how did you feel watching that? And even though we weren't out there, but... Oh, it's, it's still... My heart was beating, too. Yeah. I was, like, shaking. I was just obviously really hoping that the viewers would be able to see it because mm -hmm. of the weather conditions and also yeah. that it was going to happen because you just never know, you, never you know, know. what's yeah. going to happen in these, yeah. in these circumstances. And, and the cool and thing is, so this was beautiful. unmanned. This was an unmanned mm -hmm. uh, flight. But uh, in the future, they want to put cargo and people on there. Yep. So, so you know, that's going to be another step of history when you get yep. people on those uh, rocket ships from here. Uh, that's going to be a sight to see, seeing those, Absolutely. those SpaceX astronauts and, and stuff. Next time, Marco and I are going to take <laughs> off work. And we're going to be in. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I mean, I, yeah, it's, it's a lot of time and dedication <laughs> to go out there. and Yes, to Adam's been out like there this. all night. All night. He was there, uh, mm -hmm. I think he got there at 7.30 p.m last night to, to it's been a, a long time waiting yeah a so. long time waiting there but uh that's all of our coverage there today um thank you again for joining us this morning and again we'll have complete coverage later today at noon mm -hmm. and again you can follow the latest developments over on our website valleycentral.com and all of our social media platforms for now i'm marco ramirez alongside our meteorologist jessica kirk signing off for now again we'll see you later today here at noon have a great day everybody